option, it'll actually have two of these charge ports on it, and it'll use a standard EV car plug that's made by several different companies out there. It's called the J1772 standard. You got one right up there. Yeah, so it, it'll use that. You'll, you'll have to you'll buy one a charger that's uh, higher uh, yeah, capacity. Yeah, 50 kilowatt yeah. versus so 50, 50 versus kilowatt. 13. Yeah, so but but it'll still will charge an EV car. Customer so. national average right now is five and a half minutes for charging. So and we've got 60 buses out there with that. For so full charge. It's, it's yeah, and you're never going to deplete the bus down yeah. all the way, so you're never going to have to sit there for 10 minutes. Yeah. I mean, we've got. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is it. This is it. Oh, okay. Okay. We were creeping at less than five miles an hour in the last one. Oh, you had an electric bus here? Yeah. Uh, uh, BYD? No, what well, BYD didn't even try. They didn't try this? No, last year they didn't have the big motor to it. So. Well, neither do I. <laughs> no, you got more power than they do. Yeah. This is, uh, this is my 220 kilowatt motor. But also what I've got to as well is the same motor with a heat sink built around the uh, stator. So that way I pull, I pull uh, heat away from the motor so I can run at peak performance for longer. Uh -huh. so, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll go down here and make a, another rank.